to Eco Land. And we're still doing Gay Awareness Month. Now, I know I said that I'd do all these mangas in, you know, a month, but, uh, yeah, I missed last week. And the reason for that is because I work outside and it is some of the hottest months of the year right now. I don't have any greater reason for missing it other than I was very tired. Oh, God, I could really go for something to drink. There's enough vitamin D out here already, thank you! So today we have the last entry in Gay Awareness Month, which of course had to be a yaoi. Yahweh has a totally earned reputation of being mostly porn for women. And I actually had to search for a good manga to review for this slot, which means a lot of reading the first chapters of Yahweh's to see if they're porn or not. Porn. 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 Kind of porn. Porn! God damn it! And I'm still not overly happy with the manga I found. It, it's just not a very good story, okay? But I needed something that treated gay men with some degree of humanity and respect. And Hanamai Koeda de Aimashu does clear that admittedly low hurdle. Hanamai is about a guy named Mizuki getting out into the world after being locked away from society by his mother for years. More on that later. He's a waiter at a restaurant frequented by lawyer boy Hatano. They have their own version of a meat cute with a hand bump that really gets water boy worked up. Interestingly, lawyer boy is, if not openly gay, at least known as gay to the proprietor of this shop. But he's actively looking for a woman he can marry so he can advance his lawyer career. So, <laughs> full on denial of your preferences in public is engaged. Before I get into the absolutely abysmal plot of this manga, let me say that I actually like the characters of Watery and Lawyer Boy. Watery is naive but driven to making something of himself, Lawyering is a bit of a wanker, but he's noticeably struggling under the weight of his life's expectations on him, and wishes for independence from his father's influence. Their romance doesn't end up feeling forced, and is actually kinda cute by the end without devolving into porn or extremely problematic semi-uke character tropes, which I'm not discussing today other than to say they are horrid. I wanted to get that out there right now because who boy is this plot a stinker. It makes me go pew pew pew. I must find out what this pew means every time I appear. So here's the sitch. Mizu is the illegitimate son of a super rich guy, but his mother never wanted her son taken away, so when Mizu was born, she lied and said she had a daughter, then disappeared. So Mizu was raised as a girl at a gay co, but his mom died recently, leaving him to fend for himself with the life insurance money. Yes, it's another story with cross-dressing. I, I couldn't get away from it. it. It's nice that they at least raised the point that he didn't question his gender identity until he had grown up, and that he's trying to become more male without having to go full alpha about it. But otherwise, I really wish I could have found something with men that didn't have cross-dressing. Unfrozen caveman lawyer is hired by Mizu's father to find him and reintroduce him to his family. But his research sends him to Mizu's geika female persona, never noticing that he's falling for both the female and male versions of Mizu. Which confuses him since he's never really been attracted to women. Which doesn't stop him from planning to seduce Femme Mizu and marry her for access to her father's billions. But then he makes the mistake of thinking about these plans out loud in front of male Mizu, which does nothing to endear himself to female Mizu, and I'll... <sighs> this plot almost immediately goes into ideas that would make a soap opera writer feel dirty. Which isn't helped by the fact that when Mizu eventually meets his family, the sisters are more passive-aggressive than Nurse Ratchet. Dad tries to make up for... Wait a second, he didn't do jack shit! It's Mizu's mom who unilaterally decided to abscond with her son, forged information on the birth certificate, and took her son out of any kind of public education when he couldn't pass for a girl anymore. Worst mother ever? No more Hang on! Mm, I'd say still in the running. And so eventually Mr. Lawyer Man confesses his love to Mizu, and god I wish these characters were in a better story. Mizu is actually trying to make something of his life after his mom royally fucked it up. Hatano is a bit of an ass admittedly, but he is struggling to stay true to himself while living within the constrictive boxes Japanese society built around him. 
And in the end, Hatano decides that a relationship with Boy Mizu is more important than access to her father's money. His father's money. This is confusing. And they make a cute couple without having to get all porny on us. This manga isn't good. The story's crap and the art is stiff, especially the all-important facial work. But the characters work, and it has this understated current of taking jabs at how gay men have it in Japan. Even Hatano, being rich and connected, has to put forward an act of straight conformity to maintain any sort of power. I found it fascinating that he wasn't exactly quiet about his preferences, but no one cared so long as he acted straight in public. And frankly, I don't even know how to give a yay or nay on this. I, I'm not experienced enough in Yahweh to really know how this stacks up. I mean, it had more of the story elements I look for in a manga, but I don't know what Yahweh fans are looking for. It, it was an interesting read, I'll, I'll give it that. And so concludes our month-long look at gay people in Japan. Too Long Did Not Read, it sucks over there for gay people. They can't get married, anti-discrimination workplace laws are only on the books in a few municipalities, their representation in media is almost entirely restricted to stereotypes, and their issues are a complete non-issue to all the major political parties. So yeah, it sucks over there for gay people, and that's just what I could research as a dumb American. So, that's really, I don't really want to admonish you, the viewer, or anything. It's just, maybe keep these kind of facts in mind the next time you see a high camp comedy character in your favorite anime. Till next time, I'm Pluto Burns, and this has been Eagle Land. Hitchhiked her way across the USA Plucked her eyebrows on the way Shaved her legs and then he was a she She says, hey babe, take a walk on the wild side Said, hey honey, take a walk on the wild side Oh, hey, Crystal. Where you been? I haven't seen you at the meet lately. I've been trying to quit. So, yeah, you know, just grab a knife. Help me remove this guy's organs at the dock meeting. I don't know if I should. <laughs> Come on, it'll be fun. Do it. Oh, I'm 